Okay, so don't be worried if you're having a tough time understanding attenuation. It's kind of a tricky concept. It's not so tricky, but it's hard to, it can be hard to understand right off. So I'm going to try drawing it out. I already started, but I hadn't zoomed in, so I had to start over. So here we have the promoter, which is where the RNA polymerase is going to bind. Then after the promoter, we have the operator, which is where the repressor binds if there's plenty of tryptophan. In this case, tryptophan serves as the co-repressor, okay? So then after this, we are going to have the leader sequence. And so here we have region 1, and it's got the two tryptophan tRNAs, and then it's got the stop codon. And then here, like, the start right there. So then after region 1 is region 2, and then we've got region 3, region 4, and then after region 4 is the poly U. And then the rest of the operon is over there, over here somewhere. All right, so it's important to realize that, I'm going to use my other thing here for a second. Region 1 and region 2 have complementary inverted repeats, so it's possible for them to stem loop. Okay? Region 3 and region 4 have complementary inverted repeats, so it's possible for them to stem loop. Region 2 and region 3 also have complementary inverted repeats, so it's possible for them to stem loop. So our stem loop options is 1 and 2, in which case we would also have 3 and 4, because we can't have 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 at the same time. So we can have 1 and 2 and then 3 and 4, or we can have 2 and 3, okay? So what's going to happen is the RNA polymerase is going down and doing the transcription. Simultaneously, because we're in a prokaryote, the ribosome is going to attach to the shined algarno and then to the start codon and then begin to transcribe the leader peptide, which is going to be, well, actually it starts there. It's going to be this bit here, okay, with the two tryptophan codons. So if there is high tryptophan, then that means there is lots of tryptophan tRNA, right? So the ribosome goes down, goes down, does not stop here. No stall at the tryptophan codons. Because the ribosome only stalls when there's nothing to come into the A site. And if we've got lots of tryptophan and lots of tryptophan tRNAs, then we're not going to stall at the tryptophan codons. Instead, the ribosome keeps going down and it's going to stall at the stop codon which is normal because there's no tRNA for the stop codon. So here is the ribosome, plunk, right on top of the stop codon. And so it's covering up, the ribosome covers up the back half of one and the front half of two. Okay. So here's the ribosome, right here, over one and two. So one and two cannot stem loop. However, it's important to realize that two and three also cannot stem loop because part of two is covered up, whoopsie, part of two is covered up by the ribosome. And so we can't make the two, three stem loop, okay? So as the RNA polymerase proceeds, it's gonna go past three, it's gonna transcribe four, and then we get the three, four stem loop. The 3-4 stem loop is called the attenuator stem loop because it's going to form the stem loop immediately ahead of the poly U. So when the RNA polymerase pauses here, then the transcript is going to detach from the DNA. So that makes this 3-4 stem loop the attenuator stem loop. Okay, attenuation is sort of early termination of transcription.
when transcription starts here in the leader, but transcription does not go the whole way through the rest of the upper run. Transcription stops before we even actually get to the coding part of the DNA. Okay? So when the ribosome stops here at the stop codon, then it covers up region 1 and region 2, which allows formation of the attenuator stem loop, which is the 3 and 4 stem loop, and then this stem loop plus the poly U gives us the intrinsic terminator, which we learned about on the last test. Okay? Good so far. So what we do if we have low tryptophan? So if we have low tryptophan, then the ribosome binds here. We start it over, right? So the RNA polymerase is coming down, making the transcript. The ribosome is following directly along behind it, binds here, and is trans translating. The ribosome is translating. So the ribosome gets here to the two tryptophan codons. If we have low tryptophan, then we have few or no tryptophan tRNAs, right? Because we have low tryptophan. So we don't have enough tryptophan to fill up all of the tRNAs that we would normally have filled. Consequently, the ribosome is going to stall at the tryptophan codon because there's no tRNA coming into the A site. So the ribosome stops. The ribosome stops here in the middle of region 1, okay, here. Consequently, that means that 2 and 3 are free to stem loop, right? If 2 and 3 stem loop, then that means 3 and 4 cannot stem loop. So we do not form the attenuator stem loop. So the RNA polymerase comes down and it can go past this poly U sequence even though there's not a strong bond because it already has inertia, right? And so it's going. If it, it only comes off if it has to pause and then deal with the poly U. If it's already going, it just zips through the poly U and goes on to the rest of the operon. And so then here we have transcription of the entire trip operon because we do not stem loop 3 and 4, so this intrinsic terminator does not form and transcription proceeds. <laughs>